it begins. It's finally December, and that means that we're just four weeks away from New Year's Eve. And that means we're in the month where people are reckless with fireworks. New Year's Eve is the biggest event on earth. Now it may bring a lot of joy and happiness across the world, but it also brings with it a big problem. A lot of dogs, mine included, are afraid of fireworks. The loud bangs, the bright lights, the smoke filled air, the excited people, it's a lot to take in. And often, dogs are just a bit too sensitive to deal with it. So that's why I'm taking these four weeks and I'm gonna train my dog to not be afraid of fireworks by teaching her to hold my hand. This is all you need to get started. You need a phone and some treats. Open up your phone, open up YouTube and just search for some fireworks videos. There's like a ton of them. This is like a 10 hour one that uh, plays fireworks and just plays the sound. So the point of this is to imitate New Year's Eve and you want to play it on the lowest setting. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play this video. I'm gonna say Thunder Buddies. Yes, and then if my dog holds my hands, Thunder Buddies, I'm gonna praise. Yes, good Thunder Buddies. That's it. Let's try that again. Thunder Buddies. Yes, good Thunder Buddies. So the point of this is to do a thing called desensitization. In case you were wondering what desensitization is, desensitization in technical terms is gradual exposure to a certain stimulus with the goal being a complete immunity to that effect that the stimulus brings. That's a very hard technical term to understand. You can think about it like getting into a hot tub, like a really, really hot tub. want to do it one foot at a time because if you jump in with your whole body it's gonna give you a very big shock but if you do it gradually over a long period of time the effect that it's gonna give you is gonna be less noticeable so that's exactly what we're gonna use when dog training Thunderbites. yes And the important part is to always start on the lowest level. You can increase the volume as the time goes on. As your dog gets more and more confident, you can increase it until you reach really, really loud. Once you increase the sound, if your dog gets uncomfortable, then you can start lowering it again. And then, if the sound is lower, it's easier to manage. So in the end, when we actually go outside, then it'll be really loud, but it'll be okay because we've increased it step by step. So if you have a dog and you have the same kind of problem, come back next week.